Alright everybody, welcome back to Lords of Shadow, and you see, like Gabriel, I can't really do anything without a giant fucking prompt telling me that my controller is not assigned. Did you know your controller is not connected, BMS? I do now, thank you, Lords of Shadow. Y you should fix that. Gabriel has finally can't play, he can't play his masterpiece without it. See, Mercury Steam this knew what they were doing, man. Lords of Shadow is fun and, and educational. And yet they uh, see, they were scientists. They had microscopes like that and everything. Exactly. I hardly recognize That's the, the chromometer, because it's in the chromatic observatory. Yeah, that makes sense. No. And oh, compassion yeah. is not yeah. gone from his heart. Doesn't it? Yes. He yeah. I think. These days <laughs> Close enough. He just so Gabriel is pretty messed up. He can't sleep. He can't eat. He just kills shit. Yeah. He's not doing great. Raging at the world and the creatures that dare to confront him. But why? Well, you may as well just ask your, your average shit poster from something awful Let's Play. <laughs> so ask me. <laughs> no, I, I did. <laughs> Can you please give me a response? What's that red crystal on the top right there? That's what we collected in the last level. Remember before we fought the uh, the Frankenstein, the Franken Spider or whatever it was. Oh yeah, yeah, that red thing. And even the game is just like, I don't know what this is for. The fuck are you asking me, Gabriel? It was trying to be oblivious, but it didn't really work that well. Uh, what it is is it's the gimmick for this level. Mm. Uh, that little device there. There are seven different doors in that hub area. Each one is assigned a different color. We get different lenses in this level. You can mix and match to make the colors and open up new areas. And that's the gimmick. Okay. Now this here is an actually interesting puzzle. You have to stand on the, uh, the square there. And you see where the little arrows are pointing. You have to shadow dash in that direction. And there's different like patterns and shit that you have to dash along later on. So that's, that's fairly interesting. I want to think the vampires are just like, Hey, good job, Gabriel! We watched that, it was really neat! Well, oddly enough, maybe they are, because I was waiting for them all to line up here so I could Jesus ray them, but they they never did, so I just decided to say fuck it. <laughs> We're just here to watch! Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're watching the fun show. Oh, more sword masters. Well, yeah, as soon as you grab the green, uh, the green crystal, this guy spawns, and he proceeds to... Seriously, kick my ass. Yay, he's wrecking you. You can't handle that thrust move. I really can't. And the thing of it is, is that it's it's got a fairly decent call. But what I have problems with is that, I think you brought this up in Chapter 6 somewhere, but, mm. like, every move that Gabriel does kicks up so much fucking dust. Yeah, it does. These guys blend in with the fucking dust, and I can't really keep track of them. Yeah, they're, they're just wearing, like, a simple red robe, and they just float around. It's kind of hard to see them well, at Yeah, and I mean, I don't know if it's just, like, my eyes, personally, because I've seen videos on YouTube where people block the shit perfectly, so maybe it's just me that can't keep up with them. I don't know, but... Way to be bad at video games. I guess, yeah. Lord of Shadow, that is my downfall. Oh. Anyway, we got the green crystal, and green and red makes yellow, so... Mm -hmm. Let's let's uh, let's open the yellow door there. By the way, a lot of these color combinations make no fucking sense. You know your your primary colors and shit. You may as well throw that out the window because that's going to go to pot pretty quick. I was about to say this is how you mix colors together, Gabriel. It's going to just be a lesson for him. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's accurate now, but it it's, it really deviates a lot. Okay. <laughs> anyway, look a different square pattern. This one's a diamond. I was. <laughs> thinking it was going to do the puzzle solved thing again. Unfortunately, no. We only get that honor once, but whatever, I guess. The yeah, honor. Yeah, it's a pretty strong word. We didn't even get any experience for it. It's just like we got the little jingle and that was it. I mean, no! <laughs> it wasn't even really a puzzle. It's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> well, the guy did drop a scroll that tells you what to do, so I guess technically it's a puzzle. Also, it's Jesus Ray glitch time. Uh -huh. These crystals, you could obviously tell this is another trap. As yeah. soon as you grab the, uh, the the blue crystal here, a couple of sword masters spawn. But if you do the Jesus grab, as I'll call it, you can dash roll out of the room before the uh, the door shuts and <laughs> skip the fight. How did you even grab that thing? You were nowhere near it. Telekinesis, man. Also, by the way, once these things spawn, they just kind of like hang out in the back of the room because it's there's nothing to do. Oh, you still have to kill them. No, you don't. I just tried, because I've never actually tried to kill them before. It's really hard. Yeah? It's like there's a gate between you and them. They are ace at dodging my shadow daggers. So I eventually give up and say, fuck it. 
Oh, you you all have fun over there. I also almost missed that uh, that fallen uh, Brotherhood soldier there. Which that's another thing about this level. There's a couple of these uh, these these soldiers that you have to find mm -hmm. that are really well hidden. Like that I was one gonna right say, there. I didn't see that at all. Yeah, like that one right there. Even when you you've got the camera as far left as it will go, you can barely see like his leg glow. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to be on the lookout here, and there's a lot of them too, which is a shame. Oh, I, I see the giant statue guys. Those guys are coming alive at some point. Oh yeah. Well, it. you notice there's a color above their head, or two of them at least. Yeah. You've got blue and light blue. So if you mix the wrong color, there you go. Oh no. And considering that this game knows nothing about what colors go together, it's very easy to accidentally do. I'm really looking forward to seeing an example of this. And you saw the glowing soldier behind one, so you actually do have to activate one, uh, regardless, so... Anyway, I'm trying to get my daggers back because I wasted a lot on uh, <laughs> those Swordmasters. That's why I'm destroying everything. Gabriel gives no fucks for uh, the Dark Lord's personal property. Anyway, we got the blue crystal, but we're, we're still not done. We need to go get a key now. You don't know this yet, but we, we need it. <laughs> um... That, that's, that's the best kind of key design, yeah. Which, technically, we don't need it, but, uh... uh we do if we want to get all the, uh, like, the, the shadow gems and everything. We could go straight for the boss now, but mm. that's no fun, man. This is 100% completion. I suppose. Yeah, and, of course, three of these fucking sword masters. One is bad news, two is really bad, three are just... it's... Yeah, it's not great. But the Jesus Ray in the narrow hallway works perfect. Thumbs up for Jesus. Come on, man, that's funny! Thumbs up for Jesus! How can you not, how can you not approve? I don't really know what it's supposed to represent. <laughs> Jesus is a thumbs up guy, he'd be big on YouTube. A thumbs up guy? <laughs> well, what does that mean? He'd be big on... What is that... <laughs> You're confusing me, man! I'm losing it. This is Lords of Shadow, that's the name of the game. Also, that soldier there is another one of the very well-hidden ones. Man, they're really loving those well-hidden things. If you're not paying very close attention when you're swinging, like uh, Samus there, you'll miss it, and then you'll miss out on the life gem, which is a big bummer. Mm. Alright, so you have another one of those gems. Yeah, speaking of Samus, we have to make the, the giant S there, uh, and that actually makes the key spawn. Or gem, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I, I guess that's what it is. I don't know what these things are. They seem to be only used with this thing. I guess lens? Lenses? Well, this isn't a lens, though. This is the white key, okay? This is... This oh, okay. Is, this is a common object here in the south where I'm from, okay? This is, I know what the white key is. The white <laughs> key goes with the white door. <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> well, now how do we make the color white on this machine? How would you guess? I would guess with the white key. We don't have no, no, no. It's it's not. The, oh, it's an actual key. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How do we make the white color with red, green, and blue? Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, we uh, use them all, all, of course. <laughs> I don't. I uh, guess. Because that's how colors work. Fuck you, science. <laughs> oh man. All right. Actually, technically, I think that is kind of how colors work. I think it with, is. Uh, with light. I think so. I think you're right. It's just... Good one on you, Lord of Shadow. You had an educated moment, and it passed right over. Fuck. I'm so used to your dumb giant prompt shit that some actual science missed me. <laughs> is that really science, or is, is that just how colors work? <laughs> well, that's science. It's elementary science, but it's science. Element elementary science that we don't get. <laughs> this video is going to make us seem like giant idiots. Look, man, all I know about that is from the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, okay? Hold R2! <laughs> Just do it! You are my only hope. <laughs> oh, shit, did you get it? Shit, that's another bad pun, isn't it? Shit, hell we go. Uh, Round two, man. Uh... <laughs> Geop's not here, so he's busy doing mod things and, like, revoking, uh, LP rules and shit like that, so I, I gotta pick up the slack now. You're gonna be the next LP mod? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> no way, it'd be great. People can make smileys of you and everything. I've never seen so many probates if that happens. <laughs> Why would you probate someone? I'd make a fucking let's play rule that if you don't photoshop at least one image in your opening post, then you uh -huh. get banned. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fair. Give or get the fuck out. There you go, how's that? <laughs> That's the new name of the LP form, yeah. <laughs> Goblin Pop will be the next thing. <laughs> that's a really good. That's a really good fucking gif I made, by the way. Not to toot my own horn. It has nothing to do with fucking Lords of Shadow. Yeah, let's talk about how good you are at gifs. Other than Screw we have Lords of Shadow. No, well, I mean it has goblins in it. Kind yeah, of. We haven't seen them for a pretty long time. Yeah, the goblins are kind of gone now. I think the last time we saw them was in a uh, like right before Weigall or something. Yeah, it was <laughs> really, really far. What? What the fuck? All right. Well, yeah, we're we're done with the. Uh, the white room, so now we can activate the uh, the animated armor here and get the guy behind him. Uh oh. Because, okay. I mean, you know, Gabriel, he's got the power of telekinesis and shit, right, with items. He just can't really reach behind the guy and grab the shit, though. So, oh, we, have yeah. to, so we have to activate him to move. Also, this is the move that we uh, that we bought in the last video. The, the flame pillars or whatever. What the... Wow. That's a really useless... It's act it actually did a lot of damage to the guy. He's almost dead. As you can see. So <laughs> Look I mean at this anime nonsense going on. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. This is not anime. Shut up. Well, it's, it's pretty anime, dude. <laughs> totally not anime. It is super this anime. Is, you can't even can't even argue that. This is photorealistic. Photorealistic anime, yeah. <laughs> It's like live-action DBZ fights. So what? You're saying that Gabriel needs, he's building a Goku or something? Come on. I wish. That would that would make well, actually that would make Lords of Shadow Hunter times better. We're getting way the fuck off topic here. You don't say. <laughs> oh, we're going back to the white room. No, we're going to the purple room. The white room was just I had to get rid of the one crystal so I didn't activate the uh, the you other know, armor. Looking at all the, I think the colors are actually perfectly fine. They probably are. It's just. Fuck. <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon is my only affiliation with, like, the color spectrum, okay? Fuck rainbows, fuck all that shit. Pink Floyd is where I learned about the color spectrum. I don't think that's a good idea. And she is still sore over vampire chess. Oh, man. And you're going to I, I still love her hair. <laughs> oh, man, what? we didn't cheat! We played by her rules! Yeah, your rules were kind of bullshit, too. Now. What the and now we get to play with her toys. What the hell are those? Where? The interesting enemy design is suddenly coming out everywhere. They are fucked up puppets that I guess she plays with, which I think if you uh, paid attention in the, you know, the first stage of this area, mm -hmm. you could see like the little puppet husks in the last area of that stage. Uh, -huh. uh, these guys are kind of a pain in the ass. They're three on one. Obviously, you can't kill them because they just regenerate and they'll bring another one down. So there's a specific way you have to deal with them, mm -hmm. which is of course quick time. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, they like to jump around and create those little unblockable shock waves. It's I don't know. You got to be careful, man. You you really got to thread the needle when you fight these guys. Otherwise, Jesus. you're going to be in problem. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. They have a lot of health. It's, it's like, I don't know, man. Victory Why is... Why are you making so many puns today? I'm not making any puns. Thread the needle. These things are obviously stitched together. That Come on. Nothing is stitched together, dude. It's like I'm just trying to see victory through, like, a needle in a camel's eye or something. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of our commentary. Thank you. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to stay silent for the rest of the Watch while Gabriel beats the shit out of these awkward, goofy-looking fuckers. <laughs> the Jesus Ray isn't really effective on these for whatever reason. It 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 stuns them a little bit, but uh, doesn't really do a lot of damage. Well, I mean, they're puppets. Well, they're evil puppets, though. Uh, they're still puppets. I don't think puppets are bothered by the light. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you quick time them when they start glowing. Gabriel does that awesome combination on them. And he rips their their demonic stuffing out. I thought he was gonna go fist at a North Star for a second there. 
Well, it's close enough. And then she gets pissed at you because, you know, they're trying to kill us, we break it. There's, there's just no pleasing this vampire lady, okay? What kind of toys are these? How would you... You can't play with these things. That's what I was gonna say. How do you how does more play? If you release these toys in a retail store, they there would be a huge recall. Because ki kids will like poke their <laughs> eyes out and shit. <laughs> this is the China shit right here. <laughs> like this is this is the, like this is a pirate shop in China. They're just making bootleg toys. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. They could also spit out that black gunk at you there, like uh, you remember from yeah. the Black Knight, that will yeah. like, stop you in its tracks. It's kind of gross. It is kind of gross. But there's a better thing going on here, and I want to, after this boss fight, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh. let's just say you're in for quite a shocker. It's going to be shocking. Is that another pun? Should I just quit now? Well, I'm just going to say you're going to be shocked. It's, it's shocking what happens, okay? Anyway, we rip out the stuffing, the animation plays, we can get in a few victory jumps, because I guess, why not? Well, Gabriel's happy. Yeah. <laughs> She's really not happy. She is not happy. And now she is going Sith Lord on us. <laughs> You're not laughing, Gabriel! What's going on? So you think you could dance, motherfucker? Look at that fancy footwork of Gabriel's. I like the bunny hop that he does there too, that's great. <laughs> Who acts like that when he's shocked? Come on! Gabriel does, he has a good time. What the hell? What his, is happening? It's like his body was just splayed out, but his feet were breakdancing. Also, yeah, hey, what's up, Marie? Do you like me? I'm still sparking. This is not your time. <laughs> he's, not he's, that's not how electric. That's not how being electrocuted works. Your brain would be. Well, I, I guess your brain would be messed up. He's really still sparking. What the fuck? I never paid attention to that. Yeah, he's going <laughs> off. He has all the electricity in him. This is the new mascot for Energizer, apparently. What? Hey, I see what you two are doing. Let me join in. <laughs> And, um... What, she can see this?! I... I guess... This is so confusing, this is where the plot, like, it was already, like, going off the cliff, but this is kind of, like, the, the final... The final wheel off the edge. What, what is... What, what the fuck is happening?! What? See, now, to relate this, now, if Gabriel were Count Dooku, or not Count Dooku, but the... the Samuel L. Jackson with the purple lightsaber. Mace Windu, yeah. Mace Windu, and Laura was Palpatine. <laughs> I don't know colors, but I obviously know my Star Wars characters. <laughs> well, that's all that counts, see. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, anyway. So, some nerdy fucking Star Wars <laughs> reference. But anyway, yeah, that happened. Um, that's the last we'll see of her, by the way. What until the DLC. <laughs> what just happened? And she's just like, oh, I feel bad for you, Gabriel. It's just gonna fuck off now. Bye! <laughs> Also, we now unlocked Ultimate Light. This is, the, like, the best combo you can get. That looks way more impressive than Ultimate Shadow. It instantly heals you. It takes a lot of magic, but it instantly heals you, and you can use it indefinitely. Pretty great. Oh. So we had Dancing Gabriel, we had some <laughs> weird nonsense happen. <laughs> For people watching, go back, watch when she shocks him. Watch his feet. Look at his feet. You can make a gif of that. Let's go back to the gifts. Let's go back to the gifts. Dancing with the stars. Fuck that. Tom Bergeron, I've got your next contestant <laughs> right here. Gabriel fucking Belmont. Who would be Gabriel's partner? Fuck. I don't know. Somebody that had a giant QTE or prompt plastered on their head. <laughs> they had all the directions to all the dance moves. <laughs> and they're all directional D-pad. She, she basically, yeah, exactly. She just carry a bunch of cue cards around, you know, things marked like, you know, dip, twirl. <laughs> Move here now. <laughs> Flip through them randomly and they'd win, hands down, no doubt. Oh, man. So anyway, man, that, that is the entirety of Chapter 7. We're, we're done with Laura. We, we've seen her, uh, her uh, plot avenue to completion. What do you think, man? I don't know what to think anymore. If it, I don't know colors. I don't know what the hell's <laughs> happening in this game. If it makes you feel any better, uh, the next chapter, we've got four stages, two of which are a boss fight. 
And it is the last one on the, uh, the, the actual vampire arc here. Oh. That doesn't make you feel any better at all, does it? <laughs> when she said I envied you, she meant his dance moves. <laughs> I was going to kill you, but then I saw those sweet footwork things you were doing, and I, I, shit, I can't kill a work of art. What happened? No, tell me, what happened at the end? That, why could she see Marie? What? When the fuck did she gain the ability to shoot lightning out of her hands? Force what? lightning. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking Return of the Jedi shit, man. It really was, though. <laughs> <laughs> you will join us or die. Fuck. Good. You know, I mean, even even Mr. Iga <laughs> and all his plot fuckery didn't reach that level. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid the vampire chess is quite operational. <laughs> when, you, when you arrive here again... This is the worst thing we've ever done. That is, this is pretty bad. I think this is the worst episode of date, yeah. So I just want to say, hey, yeah, I'm going to post, like, that's what I'm going to fucking do. Fuck that. You want to talk gifts? Let's talk gifts. <laughs> Fuck Goblin Pop. I'm going to make Gabriel Pop. There you go. I'm going to get a picture of his face with little eyes popping out and maybe some, like, sparks flying off his head. Bam. Gold mine this shit now. Oh, my God. Peace out, y'all. everything's popping. <laughs> Somebody buys that for 30 bucks, I will love you. Remember <laughs> to put money into PMS's Patreon <laughs> so then we can make more money. Patreon. Yes, <laughs> Patreon. I'm going to make a Patreon for Gabriel. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Actually, say it's Gabriel. He's just looking for some motivation to get back to work. I wonder if anybody would pay into that shit. Oh my god, that's such a... Anyway, fuck it. We're done. Goodbye. Catch you all for chapter eight. Later. <laughs> Later.